It's fall, y'all, and that means it's fire pit weather. We're comparing five of the top smokeless fire pit brands, so you'll know without a doubt which one is right for you. There's not much that's better than sitting by a crackling fire on a cool, crisp fall evening. Actually, the one thing that makes it the best is being able to do it without smelling like smoke when it's all said and done. The market for smokeless fire pits has really been exploding the last couple of years, leaving many to wonder with all of the options out there, which one's the best for me? Well, today we're going to be comparing five of the leading smokeless fire pit brands in a variety of different categories. We reached out to five of the top brands to see if we could use a sample of their fire pit for these tests, and here are the contenders. First up, we have the BioLite Fire Pit Plus, the Blue Sky Peak, the Brio Y Series, the Solo Stove Bonfire 2.0, and finally, the Tiki Patio Fire Pit. Now currently the prices of these fire pits range over $200 in price. The least expensive in this group is the Solo Stove Bonfire, which supposedly has a retail price of $399, but has consistently held a sale price of $239 for the last two months. Next, the BioLite Fire Pit Plus and the Blue Sky both cost $299. The Tiki Fire Pit costs nearly $100 more, retailing for $395, while the Brio Y Series is by far the most expensive of the group, costing $495. The BioLite Fire Pit Plus is the smallest and therefore most portable of the group, weighing in at only 19.8 pounds. Now, it's also the only fire pit that's rectangular in shape as opposed to round. Now with the legs extended for use, the BioLite measures 15.8 inches tall, 27 inches wide, and 13 inches deep. Now next we have the Bonfire weighing 23 pounds. It measures 14 inches tall without the stand that's sold separately and has a diameter of 19 and a half inches. Now barely larger than the Bonfire, the Brio Y series weighs 31 pounds and measures 15 inches tall in the burn position with a diameter of 21 inches. Now it's interesting to note here that one of the standout features that the Y series offers is the adjustable legs that completely collapse for storage and extend out for the burn position and even further for a cook position, which we'll talk about more here in a little bit. Now the Blue Sky Peak weighs 35.27 pounds and measures 16 inches tall with a diameter of 21.6 inches. The Tiki is the largest of the group weighing a hefty 43 pounds and measuring 18.75 inches high with a diameter of 24.75 inches. Now all five of these fire pits can burn wood, but some of them could be used with other types of fuel as well. The Solo Stove Bonfire is the only fire pit that suggests wood and only wood for fuel. The Blue Sky and the Tiki both advertise using either wood or wood pellets. In fact, burning wood pellets is kind of where the Tiki really shines and even includes one pellet burn bag with your purchase. Now lighting a fire pit simply doesn't get any easier than using these pellet bags and the fire that they produce is second to none. Now, however, the price of keeping up the pellet bag habit can get pretty costly at around $9 per bag, which lasts about 30 to 45 minutes of burn time. Now, the BioLite Fire Pit Plus can burn wood or charcoal, as this fire pit comes with a grill top that slides on and off, allowing it to also function as a camp stove. The Brio Y series is the only fire pit that can burn all three fuel types, wood, charcoal, and pellets. Now the question is always asked, are these fire pits really smokeless? Well, it kind of depends on what syllable you put the emphasis. They all five smoke less. Now, are any of them 100% smokeless? No, but they all smoke much less than the old classic fire pit. Now, in fact, we burned all five of these fire pits simultaneously one evening, and Melissa didn't even have to wash her hair the next morning because there was literally no smoke smell lingering after the burn. Now, there are some best practices that you need to keep in mind, though, for all of these pits to truly smoke less. First, it's critical that you use dry, seasoned wood. 
If this isn't followed, you might as well have just bought a smoke more fire pit because no pit will be smokeless with wet wood. Now second, you want to feed the fire and get it good and hot, but keep the firewood below the level of the top vents. The top vents are where secondary combustion is taking place, eliminating the smoke, so if you have wood burning above that level, it just won't be able to benefit from that combustion. Now safety is always a concern when burning a fire pit, particularly if you have small children or pets nearby. Now the outside of these fire pits all get very hot. However, there was one in particular that surprised us with how much hotter it got than the rest. The Brio Y, Solo Stove Bonfire, and the Tiki were all reading external temperatures in the 230 to 260 degree range. The BioLite was difficult to measure considering the X-ray mesh design of the fire pit. However, it's worth noting here that the handles remained cool to the touch and we were even able to move it to a different spot on the patio while it was still burning. The blue sky, however, was reading external temperatures of 530 degrees and more. Now that was a bit concerning to us as our dog was wandering around freely and could have very easily brushed up against the outside. This fire pit gets so hot, in fact, that we've already started to see some of the paint chipping off due to the high heat that the metal sustains whenever it's being burned. So with safety in mind, let's talk about where it's safe to burn these fire pits. Now, if the blue sky was reading that hot on the outside, it should come as no surprise that this fire pit is not recommended to be used on any combustible surfaces like a wood deck or grass. In fact, after reading the blue sky FAQs, we even purchased additional pavers to set the fire pit on so we wouldn't discolor the paver patio that we've worked so hard to build a few years ago. Now the infrared temperature reading we captured on the pavers below the blue sky during a burn was measuring right around 250 degrees. Now the Tiki fire pit is also not recommended for burning over combustible surfaces, but with the height and design of the legs, we felt comfortable burning it on our pavers without fear of discoloration. Now our infrared thermometer read 105 degrees Fahrenheit underneath the Tiki during a burn. Now the BioLite can be safely used over grass and most any other surface due to the legs providing plenty of distance between the burn chamber and the surface below. However, they do recommend using a burn mat below if burning over combustible materials. And rightly so. With the ash door being on the bottom of the fire pit, we have had several burns where the door was slightly ajar and allowed some ash to fall through to the patio below. If we would have been on a wood deck, it really could have been trouble. Now the bonfire is safe to use over combustible materials as long as you're using the stand, which is sold separately. The Brio Y series is also safe to use over combustible materials whenever the legs are in the burn or cook positions. Now fires tend to burn very efficiently in smokeless fire pits like these. You'll notice that the wood tends to burn completely, leaving pretty much nothing but ash and a few small coals the next day. Now every burn ends up with slightly different results, but we feel like for the most part, all of these pits were about equal in fuel efficiency. Now cleaning up the ash is a different story for each of these fire pits. The Bonfire 2.0 and the Blue Sky both clean up in a similar way, utilizing a lift out ash pan. The Tiki has a pull out ash pan underneath. However, that only collects what ash has fallen through the holes in the burn chamber. So we found that we had to use a gloved hand or a dry paintbrush to sweep the ash around and through the holes in order to be able to remove it using the tray below. The BioLite has an ash removal sliding door on the bottom of the burn chamber and we usually use a dry paintbrush to sweep the ash out through that door into a bowl or tray below. Now the Brio Y series is the hardest to clean out as it just requires brute force to pick it up and flip it over. But more often we break out the shop vac to suck up the leftover ash. Now when it comes to portability, a couple of these fire pits were obviously intended to be portable while others aren't even trying. The Blue Sky Peak and the Tiki fire pits are really not meant to be portable. So if portability is what you're looking for, these are not gonna be a good fit for you. The Bonfire is lightweight and a carrying bag comes included with your purchase. The Brio Y series, which was newly released only a couple of months ago, boasts great portability with the attached articulated handle and legs that can adjust into the stow position. Now it does still weigh 31 pounds, however, so it's going to be a bit of work to haul it very far. 
Now the BioLite Fire Pit Plus is the most portable in our opinion, weighing under 20 pounds and having two attached handles. Now BioLite also makes a nice carrying case that you can purchase separately if you plan to use this fire pit on the go a lot. Now, speaking of sold separately, most of these brands have other offerings that can accompany their fire pits. In addition to the carrying case and burn mat that I previously mentioned, BioLite also offers grill tools, a grill lid, and a griddle to accompany the grill grate that comes with your fire pit. Now, if you're taking this fire pit to double as your camping stove, these accessories would be a great addition to your collection. Brio has a variety of other products to be used with the Y series, including the sear plate griddle and the outpost grill, but more on those in just a second. Tiki offers the pellet burn bags that I mentioned earlier, and while they're not cheap, if you're looking for the ease of a quick fire and your current propane fire pit is leaving you underwhelmed, don't sleep on the Tiki fire pit and pellet bags. Now we have not had the opportunity to test out any of the additional items that Blue Sky has to offer, so we really can't comment on that. Now Solo Stove has a seemingly endless supply of items to accompany your bonfire, from fire pit tools, to spark screens, to cooking hubs, and wood and fire pit storage. Now we have a page on our website dedicated to our favorite solo stove accessories, and we'll put a link in the description below. But I'll tell you now, our number one favorite solo stove accessory is the roasting sticks. They are the absolute best out there, and for any of these fire pits, they'd be a great fit. Okay, now I've mentioned it briefly here and there, but here at the Barbecue Lab, we love to cook outdoors. So naturally we'd be interested in cooking with our fire pits. The BioLite is literally ready to cook straight out of the box. The Brio Y series is also built to cook with the adjustable legs extending to a higher position to make it more comfortable to work with when cooking. Now Solo Stove and Brio both have griddle and grill options available to purchase separately and we recently published a video comparing the two cooking systems against each other. Now if you'd like to see our thoughts on those, we'll put a link up here in the card and in the description below. Now when it comes to warranty, the BioLite has the shortest with only a one year warranty, followed by Tiki at two years. Blue Sky offers a three year limited warranty and Brio and Solo Stove both offer a lifetime warranty. Now there's a couple of things that I'd like to mention that just haven't come up yet. The way that the BioLite Fire Pit works is significantly different than the others. The Fire Pit Plus comes with a detachable battery pack that operates a fan that blows air through holes inside and throughout the fire pit. This fan can be controlled by hand right at the unit, and it can also be controlled from an app on your phone using Bluetooth. A nice side benefit is that when the battery pack isn't running your fire pit, it can be used to charge your mobile devices. Now the other thing worth mentioning is that only one of these fire pits is manufactured right here in the US and that's the Brio. Now we could talk fire pits for hours, but I think we have enough information to render a verdict. Each fire pit has something to bring to the table, so it all depends on which table you'd like to sit at. If you're super into camping, the BioLite is perfect for you. It's lightweight and portable and can double up as your camp stove. Now, if you want the ease of a gas fire pit with the heat and ambiance of burning wood, the Tiki fire pit burning pellet bags is just what you want. And I didn't mention it earlier, but if your pellet fire is dying down and you're wanting to extend it just a little bit longer, you can add firewood to your pellet fire, no problem. If you're a diehard fan and want to represent your favorite team at the fire, Blue Sky has a large selection of licensed fire pits, and right now they're on sale for only $199. Now we think the Brio Y series is best for tailgating and open fire grilling with the addition of the outpost grill. Now our pick for best backyard fire pit goes to the Solo Stove for the Bonfire 2.0. With all of these fire pits at our disposal, that's probably the one that we personally will choose to sit around most of the time because we think it produces the prettiest fires and is easy to clean up afterwards. But that's our take. So the question is, what do you think? Which of these fire pits wins for you and why? Let us know in the comments down below. We'd love to hear your thoughts and know what qualities matter most to you in this category. I'm David Gafford from the Barbecue Lab, and if you found this video helpful, hit that like button below. And if you're into outdoor cooking and outdoor living, consider hitting the subscribe button so you'll be notified when we publish a new video. Now, speaking of outdoor cooking, 
We currently have a giveaway going right now through Thanksgiving where one lucky winner can take home the Pit Boss XL Kamado Grill that we reviewed in our recent head to head. If you're interested in that contest, head over to our website and sign up. Now we'll be announcing the winner on Black Friday, so get entered and good luck. Now, if you're thinking about purchasing any of the items that we used in today's video, we put together a huge list of links in the description below to make it easy for you to get the best price. So click those links, save some money, support the channel, and I will see you next time right here on The Barbecue Lab.